have them fired up. You're actually cooking breakfast when all this is happening, opening gifts, having a regular Christmas. Surrounded by what's left of his apartment, Deontay Elijah told me his family's Christmas story. It starts when he thought he heard the shower running. Then Christmas morning with his girlfriend and three-year-old son quickly fell apart. Just a bunch of water just leaking from the ceiling. So we called Maine to tell them about that. They said they were going to come over. They never came. So eventually it starts spreading into the kitchen over here. As water kept pouring in and the ceiling started falling in, they escaped to a family member's house. When they came back that night, they say no one had shown up to stop the water. A friend skilled in maintenance work saw Elijah's Facebook post and came over at midnight to help. I was very unacceptable. It was very unprofessional to have somebody, even if it is Christmas, we can't live in that. On the Christmas day at 7 o'clock at night, randomly I noticed that our dogs are like barking. And we look over and there's a hole in the top of our wall of our dining room spouting a waterfall of water. Taylor Fairchild also lives at the Williamsburg of Cincinnati apartments with her fiance. Her Christmas celebrations were also cut short a month after her Thanksgiving was ruined by a fire upstairs and water damage in her unit. Sunday, she says her calls to emergency maintenance went unreturned for more than 14 hours as buckets in her apartment filled with water. The fire department responded, but couldn't locate the water shut off without help from maintenance. To feel like such an easily dismissed issue, no running water, no extra running water on Christmas, it's just, it's, it's horrible. Fairchild says they eventually contacted a family friend who used to work for the complex and paid him to come shut the water off. It needs an overhaul, and I don't mean management, I don't mean owners. The buildings need to be repaired, the pipes need to be fixed. My grandma used to live here as a kid, so I grew up living in this apartment complex. And that's when the pool was open and gyms were open, we could use the hall, we can't do any of that stuff anymore. The gates don't even close anymore. So it was a gated community, and you can't even use the gates. And by the way, Elijah and his girlfriend are still sleeping in that apartment. They're looking for a new place. Their lease doesn't expire until late January. Meanwhile, Fairchild texted me hours after that interview that another pipe burst and there's more water coming into her apartment this evening. She wants out of her lease immediately. Ashley. Yeah, at this point, it really seems unlivable. Jatera, we've been reporting on uh, this complex and that the city got involved weeks ago and fined the complex for code violations. How has the city responded over the last few days? Yeah, I did check in with the city. I can tell you that uh, both the Cincinnati Fire Department and the buildings and inspectors workers were at that complex several times this weekend trying to address some of these problems. Of course, it is the complex's responsibility, though. I'm told that CFD and Metro actually helped transport some of the tenants to hotels for the weekend. It is typically the responsibility of the complex to pay for those hotels, but right now it's unclear if that's actually happening. All right, thanks so much to Tara. And of course, we have been reaching out to the owners of the property and property management and did again today. They are all located outside of the state and so far they have not returned any requests to us for comment.